To get started with Classroom, head over to myviewboard.com and sign up for a free account. Once signed up, you can launch Classroom, which easily allows you to bring in your content, allow students to join, and teach live collaborative sessions. Let's take a look at how to do each of these things. After you're signed into myviewboard.com, click on the Classroom tile. This will open up a new tab, and here you'll see your Canvas. Let's go ahead and import our lesson by going to the magic box in the main toolbar and choosing Google Drive. From here, I can go and add PDFs, Google Docs, or Google Slides that I want to teach from. Let's go add a Google Slides presentation for my math lesson. Click and drag to the canvas where it'll process. Once processing is complete, you can choose which slides you want to bring in and then choose import. We can see the first page here. If I want to go backwards and forward through my pages, click the page navigation at the bottom. Let's have students join by going to our session ID at the top right. When you click on this, you'll see a QR code which kids can scan, or a URL at the bottom which we can copy and give to students. If I go to my settings, this is where I can change my ID so it's a permanent ID and not one that randomly refreshes. So I'm going to go here and take my ID. We can see the student view over here on the right. I've given them this link. They type in their name, and when connected, they see what's on my screen. Now let's go to my student dashboard, which opens another tab. This tab allows me to manage my students. So you can see here that Lily is joined and she's in Huddle 1. As other students join, they will display here in the dashboard as well. It's helpful if you have two monitors. Let's go ahead and enable the teacher audio and video. So click the video camera. And this is going to turn on my video and audio so that students can see and hear me. This is my preview, which shows students what they're going to see. You'll also see that I can at any time mute or turn off my video. Now on the student dashboard, you'll also see another video preview just so you can see what the kids can see. Here we see what the student dashboard looks like next to the teaching canvas. Again, if you have two monitors, this is ideal. I have students who have joined and I can see their names populating here. You'll notice that each student has a color next to them which shows their engagement level. Now as I go through here, I'm going to go ahead and start teaching my lesson. Time to teach live. Let's get out my pen tool so I can show students how to find area. Obviously, as I talk, they can see and hear me through their computer and see the annotations that I add. But what about if a student has a question? Let's go ahead and see what happens. All right, does anyone have any questions? Notice that as I ask the question, Lily can touch the hand raise button on her screen. This allows her to ask a question. On my dashboard, I can see Lily has raised her hand and I can click on her raise hand button and choose to unmute her. What is the area of the rectangle again? So the area are the squares that are on the inside. I'm going to go ahead and turn on your tools, Lily. Can you go ahead and answer the rest of the problem for us? Let's go ahead and turn on Lily's pen tool by clicking on the pen icon by her name. This is going to allow her to participate by annotating and finishing the problem. If students don't have touch devices like Lily, you can also type in your answers using the text editor and a keyboard. Nice job, Lily. Huddles are a great way to put kids in small groups. 
Here I have students in Huddle 1. If I want to put them in Huddle 2, just click and drag them. To assign work to a huddle, go to your page manager, and then choose the slide that you want to send to your huddles. By clicking the share button, we can send it to a specific huddle, or we can send it to all huddles. As students work, I can spin their huddle around to see a preview of what they're doing, including side by side. If I want to be able to go get into a specific huddle, go to your teacher view button. This will show all the huddles that are live, and then allow me to click and select one to go see what they're working on. When classroom is in participate mode, I can see students live as they write and annotate. When students write or type, their name appears next to what they're doing. As a teacher, I can also participate and give feedback.